by the end of this video, you're going to have a solid warm-up routine dialed in and figured out for Counter-Strike 2. We've all heard the excuse of the I'm not warmed up yet. Well, I'm hoping that if we can get enough people implementing some type of a warm-up routine that you're not going to hear that excuse as much. So let's lead by example. And if you warm up, then other people that you know who play, they might start warming up. And then maybe someday when someone uses the excuse of not being warmed up, you can just call them a liar. Everybody should be warming up. I haven't played yet today, so we're going to jump into my warm-up routine that I've learned from other YouTube videos. Now, I downloaded these workshop maps, aimbots, and fast aim reflex. I warm up with aimbots first. So let's get into some aimbots here real quick. Once aimbots is loaded in here, you can shoot the guns that are up on the wall so that you can go back and forth and choose which guns you want to work with. Um, I've seen some people say to turn off the walls, but I actually don't do that. Um, I'll, I'll just, I'll rotate and I'll move around throughout the whole turn just because instead of just trying to flick left and right, it gets me moving my whole mouse. And this is what has really helped me dial in my accuracy as well as figuring out what sensitivity I should be using. Um, I find that I don't like my sensitivity like super high, super fast. And if I miss the headshot on the bot, I move on to the next. I won't spend too much time trying to kill the same bot because I want to always be moving, basically. Because when you're playing Counter-Strike 2, there's a lot of movement involved. So I want to know how to go from moving to shooting without too much of a delay. And I want to get better at just snapping to their heads. So you'll see my kill count down at the bottom is at 30. It's going to max out at 99. Here, we'll get there real quick. I'll show you. See, and what I'm, what I'm working on is when I run around and I play, I inadvertently aim down. I need to learn more, like, where the average height is. I feel like I'm always aiming as if I'm going to find someone crouching. Sometimes people aren't crouching, and then I lose an easy-to-win gunfight because I was aiming like a dipshit. See, and then in, instead of doing a bunch of wrist-picking up, all I did there was... Basically just ran my my hand across the mouse pad without resetting my wrist. All right, there we are. We're at 99. Obviously, you can keep going, but I just did 100 kills with the AK. So me personally, next, I want to switch over to the M4. And I want to, I want to get probably, probably 50 or 60 kills with this. Um, since the death counter didn't reset and it stays at 99 which turns out you can't. Oh. We're going in. We just learned something together. You can actually time how long it takes you to get 100 kills. Would you just look at this? Would you look at that? Now, keep in mind, it didn't reset the, um, the kill count down in the bottom middle of the screen. But now it's actually keeping track for me over here on this little scoreboard. Um, Matt, is that 28? Okay, it is pretty quick. It's not taking too long to uh, tally. Well, that was ugly right there. And one of the things too is when you're when you're moving, like I'm gonna let go of left and I'm gonna quick tap on right. Now I'm holding right, I'm gonna let go of quick tap left. It stops you from moving and kind of sliding when you stop. And if you don't do that and you're still sliding when you take your first couple of shots, 
they're not going to land where you want them to land. And believe it or not, accuracy is having your rounds land where you want your rounds to land. So really, it's just a matter of having a faster reflex or faster reaction time than uh, whoever it is that you're getting into your gunfight with. So instead of going into a public match like comp or premiere, I, I use deathmatch to warm up as well, which I'm going to go into after I've warmed up with the AK, the M4, and then the last weapon group that I warm up with, believe it or not, is going to be pistol. Why do I warm up with a pistol? Just so you know, you start a comp match. Oh, wow. Little lights and shit go off. That's cool. I like to warm up with a pistol last because first round is pistol. So if I'm going to end my warm up and go into a public match, then I want to go into that public match freshly warmed up with the first type of gun that I'm going to end up using. So I'm going to go to the 5.7 because that is my preferred. What? Oh. Durr. I was waiting for it to like auto switch me from my my Galil to uh I was expecting the Galil to automatically switch to my the pistol but primary secondary they don't they don't really switch automatically on their own but see how I'm like aiming at the head I'm ripping domes off big thing to figure in here too is like not everybody in the first round of a, a comp match is going to have armor on. But I want to aim for the head regardless because if I'm zoned in on headshots with a pistol, I've got a higher chance of actually winning the gunfight and hopefully winning the first round of the match, setting me up to be able to roll right into like a Galil or a Famas. I, I typically won't buy the M4 or the AK for round two right away just because I'm trying to set myself up for the whole entire match to just have as much money as possible. So I try not to spend too much just because we won one round. Because I have been in lobbies before where we win the first round and it's like we steamroll them. And then next thing you know, you've lost five rounds in a row. So it's a matter of kind of keeping eye, keeping tabs on your money and just warming yourself up. Let's stop using the excuse that we're not warmed up and that's the problem. But now that we've done that, I like to exit, leave match. Now, I don't go straight from aim bots. Sometimes I'll go into fast aim reflex. But it's not always about just doing workshop maps. I'm going to go into Deathmatch now. And once I load into Deathmatch, I'm just going to run around. I mean, they put me into a, put me into a, a crap lobby that's going to end in less than three minutes. But I'm still going to run around and try to interact with some real players instead of bots because once I go online, I'm going to be playing against real people. So I want feedback playing against real people. So you can do your aim bots, warm up with some different weapons, warm up with pistols if you want, and then go into some deathmatch. Also, one of the biggest mistakes that I'm making right now is I'm not warming up the same way that I would play a game. Because I'm playing with my speakers right now. If I'm going to queue up an actual game, I would switch over to my headphones. Because from my time in the military and law enforcement, for how you train, so shall you fight. I should not be warming up differently than I would be playing in an actual server. See? Stayed calm. Took a breath. I aimed. I let rounds fly, and we ripped his dome off. So that's what we're looking for. I'm going to finish out this match real quick. I'm going to fast forward it to the end. 
Make sure you like and subscribe. That way you don't miss any more content. We're uploading daily right now. Uh, sometimes you're going to see shorts. Sometimes you're going to see long form like this. But as always, I appreciate you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Just about, well, not crazy, but I was able to get myself onto the scoreboard.